as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls, to the time I set forth to forestall the final days. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought against despair itself, a veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. Full oft have I harboured the same malaise, have I been brought to my knees, crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat, convinced that I will never rise again. However, I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones. For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation, we are disbanding the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You are Alphano. Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? Oh, just a letter. I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge, and we will face it together, as we always have.
As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come any time soon. Well, formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. I'll be glad to keep my lance arm honed. I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your Link Pearl on hand. So you really mean to stay, Tataru? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super-secret organization requires a super-secret base of operations. To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru. As do I our next meeting. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you.
I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. Twould be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Ulysses and the others while we're at it. Where will you all be heading next? Dravania. There is a book I've been meaning to borrow from the great Google Library. And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlian before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperitz. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Might we accompany you then? Raha and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Estinian, you will return to Rads at Han, will you not? Aye, for Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details, I may not stay long. I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far-flung corner of the realm. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge her plans. Quite right. Indeed. Fair point. So, what's next for our humble adventurer? The constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. And yet, something stirs. Yes, steeped in darkness, deep as starless night. The beast hungers. Alas, I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star, as she foretold. We shall descend to the depths, you and I, to confront the dread beast pandemonium. Oh, the sights we shall see. The sights we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> 